So I'm going to talk about some uh, guitar related injuries or injuries that might affect your playing um, and ways you can prevent them from happening or ways that uh, you can sort of heal from them. I've been playing uh, since I was 10 and I've ran into all kinds of troubles with hands, fingers, wrists, elbows, shoulder and everything. Um, and only a few, I'd say less than half of those injuries have come from playing guitar but uh, obviously it all relates um, to playing guitar if that's sort of what you do. Uh, so most recently I had problems with this finger and uh, this joint was swollen and that one and then uh, well it was the ligament running down the side of the finger that was really bad and basically it, it came on like in October from just overplaying I just did this one thing one day that just one stretchy sort of pan that I wanted to get right and uh, did it for like an hour and then the next day it kind of hurt just a little bit which happens from time to time but I just kept playing through it and for months uh, I just didn't go away so uh, during December I went to see a physiotherapist I went to a private one uh, just to be seen quicker normally I've had good uh, results from physiotherapy normally uh, uh, one of the best things I found is getting ultrasound uh, where they put this sort of little device it sends sort of like a pulse into the joint or, or a problem area um, to get things sort of moving a bit better and it didn't really help um, so I actually went to an osteopath who does physiotherapy and his daughter does acupuncture and he recommended I see her uh, obviously a lot of people are skeptical about um, acupuncture you know maybe it can't treat everything but in this case when I had a lot of swelling visible swelling and pain and everything and uh, I had a, a bunch of needles in uh, a few pressure points and I had about four needles in this finger um, instantly on the first session, you know, you can just feel the blood, you know, pulsing through your hand and your finger. And obviously all, all that blood kind of um, really gets in there and sort of helps, you know, carry it away. All the crap that kind of builds up. Um, I have quite bad circulation and I, I found it really helped, like noticeably, like after the first session, I could just move it way easier. Um, the swelling gone down, so, you know, some people write it off as a placebo effect, but there's definitely... Um, I know a lot of people have had acupuncture for like sinus problems or, or all kinds of stuff. And yeah, it may be it can't treat everything, but when it came to this, it, it definitely helped after physiotherapy really didn't do much. I think one of my main problems with guitar playing stuff, I never really, I don't really practice much. I don't have a practice routine. So when I pick up a guitar, I just think I'm going to play a few riffs. I end up getting sucked in and playing lead stuff and just trying to work out something really fast and I haven't warmed up because I never really anticipated that I was going to be playing for long and not warming up properly is one of the things that a lot of guitarists probably do uh, which does lead to injuries and stuff um, I've had problems with my wrists, both wrists before um, a lot of it comes from either being at a computer for too long or I do a lot of illustration and I uh, end up sort of hunched over a desk all day and, and painting and that kind of stuff and uh, I think a lot of people who've had these problems with their hands or wrists will actually find uh, when they've seen like a professional that it all relates to, like to your neck, your posture. So something really important to prevent, you know, these injuries is, you know, working out, doing weights, don't have to do anything too crazy. I kind of get into it for a few months and I'll go on tour and forget about it for a few months. Um, so I'm, I'm always up and down with it, but it's really good to just uh, do something to sort of build up your, your strength equally, but most importantly in your back, building up good uh, back strength uh, really helps your posture um, and, and everything. Or going for runs and stuff, or going for a walk during the day, just making sure that you're not sat down all day uh, really helps. There's a few items that you can get that will help out with uh, whatever pains you might have. Um, the problem I have with my finger from really playing fast, I thought like my hand was getting a bit too clawed from you know playing guitar like this all the time, and my fingers naturally wanted to do this, so I got one of these, which is called a hand X band, which uh, you attach to each of your fingers and thumb like that, and uh, you sort of I can't be able to put it on, but you, you know stretch it all out. Um, actually, when I looked at my playing and how this finger sits on the fretboard and how it frets, I actually noticed that it was actually relatively straight, all things considered, or like at that sort of um, angle. So I actually found doing this. Um, benefited it more so actually what I thought was going to be a problem um, ended up really helping it with a, a grip master like this uh, another thing that's really good is the power wall this can really help build up forearm strength or relieve um, 
you know, tight tendons. Uh, now and then if you get, uh, I don't think it's tennis elbow where you get it right in there, now and then you get it from, you know, bench pressing or something and it might ping. Um, the hand X band is really good for that. It's called a hand X band. Um, it actually is, is really good for, for helping that tendon out. Obviously the power ball is really great. You can do it either really fast to sort of build up strength or if you do it a bit slowly and, and uh, more casual, you can sort of help relieve uh, the tenseness and sort of loosen it off without overstressing it. You know, the, the most important thing is to go see a, a professional, either a doctor or a physiotherapist. Um, try and rest for a little bit, but I found, especially with this finger problem, uh, resting made it worse. I, I got told to sleep with it in a splint at first, and I'd find in the morning when I took it off that I could barely move the finger, and it actually really did need to be constantly kept moving, and that helped re rehabilitate it. So, um, obviously see a professional first, don't carry on doing whatever was antagonizing it, but maybe don't always just go straight to resting it. Maybe give it a day or two to rest when you first notice there's an injury. Uh, may, you know, maybe take like an anti-inflammatory for a few days or, or even a week. In my instance, it was a very really wide stretchy thing. I found that after two weeks of resting it, wearing a splint and stuff, it actually got worse. Um, I found when I started playing guitar again, but really carefully and really lightly, and, and using the grip master, that it actually started to get better. Um, it's still definitely not anywhere near healed fully but um, warming up thoroughly is the main one and after you've you know played or done some exercises uh, massaging the finger really helped and icing it I ice it like three times a day at the moment and that really helps you know or, or either in a hot or cold so you put fill up a sink with really warm water and just leave your hands in there for a while yeah so I've had problems with like RSI in my wrist like I say from like clicking or doing a lot of like stippling work with illustration and, and painting and you sort of get a bit of a numbness. I found that a lot of that was to do with my neck and actually massaging the neck helps. There's all sorts of exercises you can do. So good things to do either to prevent injury or to, you know, rehabilitate yourself. Doing, you know, uh, weights or some sort of um, body weight workout routine. Upper body strength, especially like saying in your back and your shoulders, sort of carry your posture a bit um, really helps because a lot of people find when they play guitar, they sort of end up hunching over and really leaning in and their neck sort of just goes out like this. Um, that actually makes problems in your hand. So as well as uh, working out, doing weights or yoga, which is really good for you know core strength and stuff, which again relates to your posture, which then relates to your playing and you know wrists and hand problems. Uh, meditation is actually really good. Um, my girlfriend is a doctor of psychology. She's uh, Oxford University graduate, uh, and she has a real interest in uh, meditation and mindfulness meditation and. Uh, She's worked at treating people in pain clinics and how to uh, manage the pain and deal with it, not necessarily curing it. But um, there's a really good documentary come out recently called uh, The Connection, and I'll put a link to it down below. And there is a lot of new scientific evidence, peer reviewable, uh, unquestionable data that actually shows that meditation can actually physically help, um, you know, repair the body. Uh, and it's got all these people with various illnesses, a guy who had stage four melanoma, someone with... Um, MS, who's pretty much reversed his symptoms, been living symptom-free for about 15 years, um, all kinds of stuff, and uh, it actually shows you the, the science behind um, what meditation does and what, what happens in the brain and the sort of uh, signals it sends out when you are uh, using meditation uh, to help repair the body. So uh, yeah, the main thing is always warm up, always stretch, always stretch down. If you run into any problems, um, Try not to panic too much, but maybe stop. Figure out what it was that was antagonizing that certain body part uh, in the first place, whether it was um, a hand, a finger, wrist, or your neck or something. Here in the UK, we have free healthcare at the moment, and uh, you can just go to a doctor and get referred to a physiotherapist, but it can take you know a few weeks to be seen. And for me, um, I didn't have a few weeks to try and rehabilitate before we had an album release show. So um, I had to go private. And like I say, it's about forty pounds a session, which is kind of standard. Maybe think about, um, like I say, your posture. It's not always if you're feeling something in your hands or your wrist. It doesn't necessarily mean it's you know localized to that area. It can be something to do with your shoulder, your arm, um, and your neck. Like mainly your neck. That like I found with um, a lot of the repetitive strain stuff and the RSI on my wrist. Um, I was getting numbness. I was getting really tight pains here. Um, I just found, you know, self-massaging it, getting a foam roller helped, but um, yeah, it was the neck 
that was really doing it. So just changing your posture. If you practice a lot of guitar, practice in the classical position with one foot, you know, on a foot rest or something, really you should just see a professional even just once, just so they can really try and identify what the problem is. And yeah, stuff like ultrasound treatment really works well. I've had it on my elbow before. I've had it on that finger. Uh, I think I've had it on one of my wrists. I've broken each wrist a few times from skateboarding over the years. So I've got pretty crap wrists, but um, yeah, just to prevent it, just do what you can. Get a power ball is really good for building up forearm strength, as is the grip master. The hand expand is really good for building up the tendons. Uh, moving, especially on your left hand, in a completely opposite way to when you're playing a lot of guitar, you're sort of gripping a lot. Doing something in the opposite motion really helps sort of even out the, uh, the way the tendons are working. Just do as many different exercises to sort of build up any strength in your arms. Um, and like I say, in your back and in your neck for posture and stuff.